Hey guys, this is Commando Doggo. Today we're just going to be doing a little progress report on what I've been working on because I know it's been a while since I've shown any projects. Um, so first off, uh, here's my old miner ship. So I'm currently designing a new one. I thought I'd just show you the old one first. Um, it's basically just a big box, basically um, about 380 crates, but uh, it does a job. You know, uh, it doesn't have any YOLO. I made this a long time ago. It was one of my first ships. Um, it's just just a big box miner basically and it's got lots of mining lasers and it still collects pretty quickly I still use it to this day so here is my one that I'm working on currently uh, I don't make ships very often I normally just make modules uh, so first up I've changed the generator setup I've made this circular uh, style of generators because it's just more compact and uh, they don't overheat at least I don't think they do anyway um, and I have two plasma thrusters top and bottom and I'm just trying to be as conservative as possible with this ship. I'm trying to save as many bolts, as many ducts as possible. Because uh, my first old miner that you saw there, I used the auto bolt tool and I knew absolutely nothing about uh, cable management. As a result, I ran out of pretty much everything very quickly and it was pretty small. Uh, but with this one, I'm planning on squeezing two uh, auto turrets on the back, as you can see. Uh, and in order to do that, I have no choice but to kind of just sparingly use as, as little cables and bolts as I possibly can. Uh, here's, another, here's a really good tip actually, if you just put ducts on the backs of your thrusters like this uh, and you just have them so that they're touching the backs of the hard points uh, you just have one long line of the ducts going straight across you save so many cables. So you've li I've literally just got one duct per every two box thruster here. Uh, so that's just saved me so much cables and then that links back to the ship on either side and they all get power and pipes. And here's the back. On the back we have the uh, autonomous turrets which I will replace in the future with uh, tier 8, that's what I call them, uh, just T8 turrets. They're, these are T7s, they're the old ones, those blue ones. Uh, the new ones will be using laser designators which I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, and here's the inside, uh, I just have two sets of this new circular generator core that I made. Uh, this was a new, real nuisance to make. It was definitely very difficult. Um, I'm glad it's done. <laughs> uh, that should power the ship. And uh, I've got about um, about 480 crates on this, I believe. Uh, I might be able to add some more, but this is going to be primarily a combat mining ship. So it's not really, the main focus isn't to add as many crates as I can. It's, it's mostly to try and squeeze two auto turrets on which will be these two will be replaced with my latest one which you haven't seen yet and the idea is that the auto turrets on the back will just stall for time and put pressure on the pirate chasers while the front which I haven't finished yet which you won't see yet uh, the front of the ship will have a movable cockpit that can turn around and fire at oncoming attackers so here's the T8 turret that I'm working on it's very big maybe even bigger than a T7 uh, as you can see, it uses a large array of laser designators. And uh, it's going to have 180 pitch, 180 rotation. It's going to have a much wider range of movements than the previous turret. Uh, it's going to have longer range because it uses the laser designators. Uh, as you can see inside, I have weapons as well. It's going to have an extra weapon on it as well. Plasma cannon on the top. And uh, it's going to use a torpedo sensor uh, as its main uh, method of sp of um, tracking targets. So I've never really done that before. Well, I have done it, but I haven't gone all out on that technique yet. So we'll we'll see how that goes. I don't know how effective it will be versus the range finders that we I've done previously. Uh, and if you look here, the laser designators they can actually be rotated uh, a few degrees out of their socket and then nailed back in, and they still work. So that's just one handy tip to use if you want to make a large array of lasers. Yeah, and uh, before we start the video, I'll just give you a quick demo of um, how it moves. Obviously, it's not finished yet. Uh, I haven't done any YOLO. Uh, the structure's not complete yet either. It's still a long way to go, but uh, so far it's looking okay. Uh, it's pretty heavy. I'm having some weight problems, but other than that, it's, it's pretty good. So here it is. See, it's very quick because I, I did squeeze in a lot of stacked rotators in this thing. Uh, and it will have 180 pitch and 180 rotation. 
So yeah, I haven't been playing Starbase quite as much recently because I'm getting into um, game development for the first time and I'm trying to learn Unreal Engine and Blender and doing some other things. I might make some videos on them in the future. Uh, and obviously I've only got so much time, so uh, I can't be making this non-stop like before. Because um, I, I play way too much of this game, but, uh, but we're making steady progress. So that's it, that's what I've been up to, and thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.